now for something that will hopefully warm the heart. The shock of Friday's attack reverberated across the world and provoked a good many reactions, but perhaps none so special and viral as this one. In Manchester, Andrew Greystone woke up to the news on his Friday morning and knowing that Friday prayers for Muslims would begin later that day, his first thought was to get out of his house and just do something. I was thinking, what is this like for the Muslims in in my community, is there anything I can do? So I thought, well, maybe if I go up to our local mosque, which is like 10 minutes walk away, maybe I could just stand at the at the outside and smile at people and just be a bit friendly or something. Um, so I, I set off to do that. And then I thought, hey, that's that I'm just going to look like a crazy man now. <laughs> I better have something to explain myself. So I, I just grabbed a lot old piece of cardboard and a marker pen. Have you got it there? This little mess For those yeah. who are watching, you can show us. There it is. You this are my friends. Message. I will keep watch while you pray. For those that are just, just listening, you can watch this later on. But uh, Andrew's just held up a big sign. He's posted it on one of those filing cabinet files with, to give it a bit yeah, of a, a firm back backing. <laughs> that's the first thing I could... Honestly, just the first thing I could lay my hands on uh, as, as I went out of the the house and it's got a bit of paper sellotape to it and a message that I just thought maybe that, that's just what I want to say. So I did that. I, I and read, us that, read the, us that message, Andrew. It says, you are my friends. I will keep watch while you pray. And I thought, well, I can go up to the, the mosque and I can stand outside. And when all the people have gone in, um, I, I could just stand in the entrance and just keep an eye out. Now, I'm not saying that if somebody had come to attack mm. that mosque, mm. that I could have done anything about it. You know, I was I was armed with uh, a, 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 a smile and a piece of cardboard. Um, uh, I'm not saying I could have done anything uh, about that, but I just thought maybe maybe it would make people just feel that they were amongst friends instead of enemies. Maybe that would just help a little bit. And how did people react as they started a a attending the, the mosque or the prayer house to, <laughs> to, to, for Friday prayers? What, what reactions did you get? It was quite a long road to walk up to get to the mosque where, where I live. And I think as people were walking up, you could see them thinking, oh, no, have we got some kind of crazy guy making some kind of protest out Outside the mosque or something, but then when they got there and they could read the message that said "You are my friends," then you could see people melting. You could see a smile coming up <laughs> across their face, and people were hurrying into prayer. So a few people stopped to shake hands and 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 say hello, and others just hurried on in. And then while the prayers were happening, and I was standing outside just looking up and down the road, um, I, I I'm told that the imam of the mosque, the religious leader, uh, who had walked past on his way in. He mentioned that, that I was there and he, he told people um, what he thought I was doing there. And so by the time people came out after the prayers, everybody just was smiling and shaking my hand and we were hugging and saying salam, peace uh, to each other. And I felt like I'd made, you know, a thousand friends in, in, an, in an hour um, and hey, some guy even sent me away with a pot of chicken biryani. Now that, that's a, <laughs> that's a win. Everybody's well got... done. Isn't that amazing? I mean, Andrew, there's, there's been so many reactions to this event and a lot of them online. Uh, the social media has been criticised, um, uh, you know, for, for, for uh, I guess, enabling hate to travel and to be spread. But I guess yeah. at the same time, we can use it for good. And, and that's what's happened here. And we've heard about your story, I suppose, uh, through those channels of, of media. But I guess what your story also says is that um, sometimes we've just got to get off social media and we've got to get out of the house and, uh, and, and go out and embrace people and make them feel secure. I, I guess that's exactly what you did. I guess that's true. You know, if I'd just kind of gone on Twitter and tweeted, oh, I feel so sorry for Christchurch, that maybe wouldn't have done very much. Or if I'd said, um, you know, hope the Muslims in Manchester are okay, that maybe wouldn't have done very much. Um, but I, I just felt it was good to go. There's nothing like actually being with people. Now, I didn't expect anything else to come of this. When I, when prayers were over and people had come out, I just kind of made my way home thinking, ah, that was good, that, that was okay, and got on with my day. 
Um, but a couple of guys had taken photographs um, just because, you know, a strange guy with a notice, so you take a <laughs> photograph. And, um, one of them uh, must have put it online on Facebook. And then over the next few hours, it just started going crazy, Alex. It just, I started getting messages from all over the world. And I mean all over the world. I, you know, there's barely a country that I haven't heard from. Bangladesh, Pakistan, Malaysia, um, wow. uh, Libya, uh, Just Nigeria. one small deed, eh? Yeah. One small deed. I, I, it still feels a bit surreal because I still feel like, hey, I did, I did a very, very small thing. But I, it seems that there's this kind of deep... Uh, very kind of, I think a lot of us live with fear, a low level fear, a lot of the time. It's like a kind of buzzing in your ear the whole time. And I, I've picked this up from many of the reactions that people have sent to me. Um, and we have to find ways of dealing with that. And you either stoke up that fear and you make it um, worse and worse and you, you retreat from other people uh, to keep yourself safe. But actually, that doesn't work. The only thing that works in the end, the only thing that deals with fear is friendship. Um, we have to overcome fear uh, with, with friendship. Andrew Greystone there from Manchester. He said, there's nothing like actually being with people. Isn't that great advice? He also criticised fear. He said, it's buzzing in your ear.